what to play next. I'm your host, Anjindra Bintan, Jindra Bin Violet Bintakintosh, doing everything that is awesome in gaming. This is Aparencia, the Stolen Sun. Um, we found it in the, there was a game festival on Steam. It looked cool. Um, it had an incredible variety of different indie games um, from up and coming devs. So obviously we looted the place. We love bringing you anything that you can try a, a free first chapter on, or if you're a YouTuber like us or a streamer even, and you really just want to pimp out um, a game for an indie dev, you know, if you want to showcase something, that you're able to do that. Um, even if you're on a budget or if you're as versatile as we are, um, we hit up so many games that sometimes we do just play a demo to kind of showcase something. So. Who do I want to be? You look jaunty. Bergen Gossia, Round Forest, Glass Mountain, Sea of Operencia. Obviously, we're doing this. Um, and then I can reroll my character, I guess. Oh, I can assign points. Um, I either need intelligence or wisdom. I feel, you know, like I just don't feel it's the wisest to head out without that. Uh, let's do cat feet. Name, name, I need a name. Choose your name. Oh, I can roll a name. Gazella. Zabina, obviously, we're going to do this. I mean, in general, I use my name, because I am a storied lass. My name has many accolades and little kanji hung on it. Stories upon stories, stories of the Long ago and far away, a young farmer dreamed. A white stag, guiding her to a special place. Every night it returned as she slumbered. The same deer, the same hidden path, the same castle under a lake. Her father knew this to be a sign, surely the work of Chodasarvash, a miraculous deer of legend. Reluctantly, he urged his daughter to follow the calling and to never for she was a young farmer no more. The next morning, the young hunter admired the sunrise. She set forth on a journey she did not yet understand. Her only guide, a vision that made her question her sanity. It would only get stranger from here. A sense of awe struck the young hunter as she approached the sunken castle. She had no explanation for the unnatural sight before her. A pathway led from the forest to the foot of the lake, and then through it? As she passed through the swirling wall of water, her wonder suppressed her fear. Each muddy step drew her closer to her destiny. We get to the action, people throw gloves. Your life was so simple until now, but then you had a dream and the same one again, the same one again. Every night a white stag, every night a sunken castle. The time is going to follow that dream. Embrace yourself for, the, for total weirdness and the great adventure to come. Yoska updates his journal frequently. He's check back off and learn more about everything he encounters in Aparencia. And Inside the gate sat the figure of a man against a pillar. He appeared unconscious or worse. The young hunter thought him dead. She poked at the body with her flimsy blade, just to be sure. Ow! Hey, how did... Who, uh... Did you just poke me with a sword? How do I know I shouldn't have done more than just poke? You have nothing to fear from me, friend. I'm guessing you even have me to thank for entering this cursed castle in the first place. Well, you're not stealing my reward. I've already had enough taken from me today. Reward, of course. You created the path in the lake. I possess, well, possessed, the magical amulet of Zotman, and I went through hell to acquire it. The amulet's power opened up the entrance here. Thing is, it's no longer mine. As I entered this forsaken fortress, a wretched old man saw fit to pin me down with an arrow and steal it. And for good measure, he knocked me out with his bow just before he left with the amulet. The welt on your forehead is remarkable. 
yet you're basically unharmed. He seemed to take great care not to irrevocably harm you. Tell that to this irrevocable headache. Help me up, please. I think I'm all right. Good. Then you can tell me what you know about this place. Happily. I'll explain as we go. As we go? I wish you well, whoever you are. But I don't need you joining me. The name is Yoshka. I don't care what yours is. And I'm not joining you. You are joining me. That's not how this works. Oh, just shut up and open that chest. Should be a key in there. Yoshka, are you writing? So what if I am? Nothing. It's just, you don't really strike me as the writing type. You don't really strike me as the writing type either. And it appears that only one of us is right about the other. Huh. Fair enough. So tell me, what do you write about? Your innermost feelings? Oh, please. It's more about the people, places, and things I encounter throughout my travels. I need something to take my mind off of all of this madness around us. So you log the madness in your journal? I have more control of it there. Would you like to read it? I have nothing to hide. Looking to double the size of your audience, I see. Ha! I suppose so. some other goods as well. We should equip those. Why would anyone lock this place up? There's nothing here but water. On the ceiling. And in the hallways. You won't land a single blow. How rude of you. I never caught your name. seems so nice. Well, that's a new one. If the legends are true, these were men once. Transformed by the curse that sank this stronghold. Condemned to serve King Breck until death. And I suppose this King Breck wants us dead? Him, the dragon. Does it matter who really? Dragon? Is yeah, it that dragon. Let's find a safe place to rest and we'll talk. Stay quiet for now. We may attract more Zeldek. Or worse. Locked, and we don't have the right key. So I'm in the water, um, which definitely hits the whole movement style with some explain away. That's really cool. Uh, neat hazard. Really cool. Uh, not no key, dangerous. no entry. But um, adds on to it. So if you're looking for a two player, or excuse me, a dungeon crawl that allows you a little bit more interaction, especially with regards to the storyline. So that was really cool. Campfires can be used for a generate characters. Also, you can talk to 
Over there in the corner, that wood is just begging for us to burn it. Link is in the description below if you want to try it out. It's a free demo, so, you know, play along. Um, wood. Okay, so I need to shoot. I'll go ahead and see if I'll link it in the description below. Also down there, Gamer Friend, who's trying to make the Gamer Co-op. Uh, so the Gamer Co-op, you should to your door. Um, you know, support the Gaming Community, or if you just want a good cup of joe, it's like having good whiskey. Your logo on merch, um, or you can purchase ours and support the um, pirate thing logo. We love it, we love everything about it. There are other people who support us by showing that off. Or if you love us and you just want to be a part of the community, then you know, go ahead and click for the coffee, KO Dash FI, and buy us for coffee. One dollar, uh, to Gamer Girl. And then you also get some behind the scenes material. Um, different cool things that we're working on. Artists, Amy Dad's creators were there. So um, it's specifically set up for us to have you and we love it. It's an awesome idea. Liking, subscribing, commenting, always agreeing. Um, we love you guys. We love the orbs along the ride. Right. If you want us to play more, you can also buy something and play all the way through, please let us know. We're always open to do that. It's an incredible game, incredible storyline. It's awesome. Knock it out of the park. Really just too fun. It's definitely Give us some feedback. Either way, we'd love for you along the ride.